I'm David Peck with David Peck & Associates. We are a local cybersecurity consulting response and investigative firm. I started my career over 32 years ago in the United States Navy as electronic warfare technician. And then I went to the Pennsylvania State Police where I was a forensic investigator for computer crime along with uh, working on some gang task force. Uh, pretty much instrumental in building the cybersecurity and digital forensics uh, program in the Pennsylvania State Police. Upon my retirement, I was recruited by the Central Intelligence Agency, where I led two forensic labs that focused on uh, reverse engineering of malware, viruses, along with uh, investigations of terrorists and things like that. It was with the Computer Incident Response Team for the CIA. I have worked with other consulting companies, uh, conducting digital forensics, cybersecurity, technical testing, and then I formed my own business. Uh, we are located out of Erie, have approximately 33 other employees that work with us. Uh, we serve an international clientele, and we focus on technical testing of security controls along with uh, response uh, during and after a breach to help a client get back on their feet and then identify uh, the root cause as to what happened and how they can prevent it from happening again. Currently, cybersecurity has a large need for um, capable people. And when I say cybersecurity, uh, it's a very broad term. So cybersecurity can entail, say, cybersecurity engineering, and that would be uh, implementing cybersecurity from the birth of a product. For example, a computer, be it hardware or software, um, be coding, the idea of building uh, the device or software from the ground up to ensure that it is secure when it's actually deployed to the environment. That would be cybersecurity engineering. The kind of people that are really beneficial for that are those people who like to get into code, reverse engineer things, or those people that like to disassemble things, see how things work. So there's a very big need for cybersecurity engineers, both hardware and software. Cybersecurity consulting is the area that I focus very much on. That is also has a large need. Um, so think of these type of people would be the ones that are the hackers, okay? The good hackers. Um, so hacker's not a bad word, but these are the people that like to test things. Ultimately, I'm called into an environment and a client will say to me, test my environment the same way that an attacker would do. So we will attempt to hack their environment. We would either attack their Wi-Fi or their firewall or their personnel through a phishing attack and then see if we can gain access to their environment and what we could actually obtain as far as you know information or obtain access to their environment. So what we're actually doing is simulating an actual attack and a hacker would do. Then we generate a very detailed report along with recommendations on what they would need to do to prevent that from happening, sort of remediation steps. And then we can assist them with those remediation steps. Those are the type of people, you know, that like to test things, poke around, like I said, the hacker type. Then we get into the people that would be solve the puzzle, the criminal investigators, uh, the, the cops. This is the probably my biggest thing and what I love the most and the highest demand and the highest revenue generation is digital forensics and incident response. So digital forensics would be solving the crime. How did this happen? You have to collect evidence. You have to adhere to chain of custody and evidence collection procedures because you know, many of these might go to court for civil proceedings, even criminal proceedings. You might be working hand in hand as I do on a daily basis with Department of Justice, the FBI, different agencies like that. So it really goes about collecting evidence appropriately, identifying what happened through analysis of the evidence that you have. Going hand in hand is incident response. Incident response is kind of a crossover between the digital forensics and when the actual incident happens. 
These are the type of people that like the adrenaline rush, you know, they're drinking Red Bulls late at night, they like to stay up. And when an organization is in need, they've been attacked, the incident responder will go in there almost like a police officer and take control of the situation. First responder, stop the bleeding, okay? Try to understand what's actually happening, contain the environment. Then they work hand in hand with the digital forensic guys to collect the evidence appropriately and um, try to get the environment back up and running. So those, you know, like I said, those type people are generally high, high adrenaline, like to get in, take control of situations and, you know, get people back up and running and give them a sort of a sense of calm. So those are some kind of key areas right there. The cybersecurity engineers are building the software and the hardware right from the beginning. The cybersecurity consultant is doing the testing and auditing of security policies, procedures, and then the digital forensics and incident response would be in response to, you know, an incident that actually happens inside of an environment like somebody gets hacked. Digital forensics would be understanding the root cause analysis of that. There's a tremendous amount of uh, education available here at Gannon University, different programs that are available that's on the cutting edge right now that's branching out into all those different types of um, facets of cybersecurity like I just mentioned. What's, what's exciting right now is Gannon is investing a very large amount of money into the iHack building. The iHack is nothing like I've ever seen before. We're gonna take an opportunity to bring companies in and put them with students and have everybody collaborate on cybersecurity, work together, so it's not necessarily just going through books and uh, classroom, but it's gonna be hands-on labs of actual clients they'll be working on, um, working with other people, other you know very technical companies, and get the education like no other right now. It's a very exciting time, and the facilities that they are implementing are beyond anything I've ever seen. Once you receive that type of education, the workforce, uh, United States government is a big, um, you know, uh, a big recruiter for talent when it comes to that. And I spent a few years at the CIA. They definitely need some talented people. And then um, many organizations that support the, the, the government. And there's probably 60 to 65 percent of the federal government workers are actually contractors. So think of Booz Allen, Hamilton, Lockheed, Martin, um, a lot down in DC, in your um, Silicon Valley areas, your bigger cities, there's a very large need for that. Getting into a company, uh, it might be that you wanna be an analyst. So somebody that would be monitoring an environment to try to identify any threats in the environment and being able to respond to it. Uh, maybe you want to work on coding and that would you'd be a programmer within their environment building custom programs to ensure that they are safe and secure. Or maybe you want to look at more of an auditing or administration level and that would be somebody that would be into creation of policies and procedures easier administrative type of controls there's a big need for that and ultimately the management would be chief information officer chief information security officer vice president of professional services so in industry there's a very very large need for that especially in the consulting area then you can focus into the companies that obviously provide um, consulting, professional services, which is what we do. There's a large need for organizations to have somebody that's able to respond, a third party that's able to test their environment. So there's large companies like SecureWorks, Silence, like ourselves, that will go and assist companies with uh, conducting these types of uh, assessments. Most of the time those assessments are required and more and more there is more requirements coming out and that's gonna be a much larger need for that. So pretty much across any type of industry, you're gonna find jobs, healthcare, protecting health information, 
banks protecting uh, client information, payment card industry, credit card information. Every industry now has some need for cybersecurity personnel and uh, we're expecting you know, job openings within the next couple of years to be in the millions. I think it's important to understand what cybersecurity is and if you in fact have an interest in that. So don't look at it as simply an area that's going to be secure have a large amount of need for jobs, but it's important to have a passion for it. So whether you want to get into cyber security engineering, cyber security consulting, response, digital forensics, cyber security auditing, make sure that it is something that you want to do and feel comfortable with. It's a great job. I've been doing it uh, for several years and I don't work a day in my life. I love it and it's so satisfying. So just make sure that it's something you want to do and don't do it just for the money.